What's going on, guys? Welcome back to episode 39 of the Offshore Games Cast. I'm Dave, and, and I'm joined I by Dylan. Oh, boy. Fucked you up. Yeah, you fucked me. <laughs> uh, do you like free shit? I like free shit. Do you like free shit when it's pretty easy to potentially get that free shit? Uh, yeah, I live in America. I, 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 <laughs> I want free stuff. <laughs> well, do I have good news for you. All right, what is you're, it? You're not eligible to win, but everyone else who's listening is. Oh, I hate this country. <laughs> <laughs> uh, go to our Twitter, Offshore GC. We have a couple giveaways going on right now. Uh, if you're excited for the brand new installment in the so-called Borderlands franchise, Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. <laughs> what? Because it's separate. It's not a Borderlands game. It, okay, so-called maybe was not the right way to say it. The so-called Borderlands. Because it's like it is Borderlands, but it's not. It's its own thing. What about the latest installment? What about the so-called Kirby so series? Kirby. <laughs> uh, Kirby and the Forgotten City. Uh, we're giving away both games. Uh, it's pretty easy to enter. Just leave us a five-star Review and rating on Apple Podcasts or a five-star review on Spotify. Take a screenshot, reply to the tweet, boom, you're in. That's it. Say some nice things and maybe we'll say some nice things. And yeah, we when we get some of those reviews, it, it it's nice. It feels so good. It's it's uh what was the word? We were just uh reassurance. It's re yeah. It's it helps fight like back a, those twenty years of trauma that likes to stick <laughs> around. And it it, it 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 helps me personally just feel like yeah, maybe we're on the right path here. Maybe we're doing something good. Maybe you shouldn't FedEx me. Maybe, yeah. I won't FedEx you anywhere, bud, except right here. Sounds good. Uh, also, <laughs> this Friday, March 11th, Novamora underscore, twitch.tv slash Novamora underscore. She's having a community night. I'm going to be there for almost the whole time. I'm sure Dave is, is maybe stopping by for a little bit. We're going to be playing some games, but you want to play some games with us? Hop into her, her Twitch. Uh, Friday night, 8 p.m. Eastern. So when it's going to start, and we're just going to fuck around, play some games, maybe some Apex, I don't know, Fall Guys, Among Us. We'll see what happens. We're going to go with the flow, but come on into to the chat and play with us. Speaking of playing. What do, what do we, what do we, we played some games. Kind of. Not a lot. It's been, it's been busy, busy times. Yeah, mm -mm. it's, it's been a week. We'll say that. Uh, I played Elden Ring some more. <laughs> Uh, I like you know what? Let me let me go with mine first because okay. I played like what <sighs> four minutes. I think I played four more <laughs> minutes. I didn't remember where I was. Uh huh. I just got done playing uh, my other game. I, I was talking about. I, I'm going to talk about, and I was just in a in a mood, and and you know what? I thought let's put on a Dark Souls game. Yeah, it's, what a, it, the, what it's, a dumbass! It's the perfect game to just relax just, and just calm down. Yeah, oh yeah, and, it's good for that. And so I died, and I said, <laughs> "Oh man, I'm gonna go do some laundry now." Did you get your runes back at least? Uh, you, you need, okay, you know what? I, <laughs> I, in that four minutes, that was what I was gonna do. I was going to pick up my last runes for my last oh. session. <laughs> I think I got. 10 feet away oh no and and you know what there weren't even that many runes in the begin with so i i, you know okay, what? So. I was just gonna go get it but it was just like you know what i'm gonna go fold some laundry now yeah let's go that's do it that. it's all right that's not that bad as long as there weren't that many runes you start getting a lot more later if i even if, yeah, if i make it that far whoa <laughs> what happened senor uh, <sighs> I am level forty something now. Well, I'm like and, two. Yeah, maybe one. No, you're <laughs> more. You're more than that because I am? you start depending on your class anywhere. It seems like between level eight and ten. Yeah, I I'll believe you. You should. <laughs> All right, because <laughs> it's the truth. Um, and I've I've put in maybe like twenty five to thirty hours. I'd say. Uh, it's the only game I focus on at all this week. And it's weird talking about it because the, the whole point of the game is the like discovery. So I don't want to give away too much of yeah. what I, but I, I got some things to talk about. Uh, uh, th the throw up a little spoiler firewall just in case. Yeah. If you really don't want to know, if you want to go in like completely blind, which just for Justin, I get that just for Justin, ju Justin, this is Justin's case. So we don't oh, want to fuck I see. him over. 
Fuck Justin. Hey. You know, fuck Justin. Whoa, just in case. Don't no, say that. No, nope. Fuck just in case. If there's someone out there named Justin <laughs> Case. <laughs> they happen to be listening to this. I'm sorry. <laughs> the f- I like, it's only one half of the podcast feels that way. Full 100% of the podcast feels that way. Full Metal Alchemist. <laughs> yep. <laughs> anyway. Justin. Uh, there are some enemies in this game, just out in the world, that... This sounds like Elden Ring to me. It, Yeah, yep, there are some enemies <laughs> that might as well be bosses, but they're this not. This sounds like Elden Ring to me. Like, there was... Uh, I At first, I thought it was like a giant cockroach. Do I have to say it again? It was more <laughs> like a like a giant like crawfish. Giant cock. Type thing. Uh, oh, like a crawdad. <laughs> <laughs> don't say that that's, that's fucking don't that was, what say you that. just did was stupid was... <laughs> <laughs> uh, um i tried fighting it and it i did like no damage and it did a lot of damage to me massive like, damage it was pretty massive like i'm saying it kind of felt like it should have been a boss and that wasn't the only case uh where was it uh, past the castle. I don't know where that is. What? Uh, <laughs> was it up high? No, it was in a swamp, and not the swamp right near the starting point. Okay, I like crawdad. So, uh, craw- crawdad. You remember? You remember uh, Scooby Doo on uh, uh, Zombie Island? No. You remember? Oh, well, in that movie. Uh, Wait, on um, it's not it's Spooky Island, not Zombie Island. Is that about the live action movie? No. Oh. The one with where the 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 pirate comes back and like as a zombie. No. The the nope. wit, the witches. Nope. They're I think they're werewolves. The, they're, they're, <laughs> they 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 bring back the pirates that were on the island as zombies. No. Nope. The animation from that time was really good. But anyway, there's they're in this they're in like the swamps and they catch a whole bunch of like crawdads and just they're in the back of the van. Were they the crawdads. size of like ten people? No, they were the size of crawdads. Like then, no. This is is very large. But do you remember? Have you seen the movie though? No. You there? There's so many seen... fucking people out there who just will not watch good animated movies. I just because they're animated. I there's so no, many. It... This isn't even about you anymore. Okay, I was there's just saying so that I don't many have any good prejudice. animated movies out there that you fucks just won't watch. I watched uh, the Batman yesterday, and that was really good. It's not animated. I just look, man. Non sequiturs, tangents. What were you saying? Keanu Reeves is going to be an animated Batman. Yeah, I, I was again. I still had that. You didn't show I, me the trailer. I didn't. God damn it. We got distracted. We did get distracted. Yeah, long day. Uh, Talking about getting distracted. Back to crawdads. Back to Elden Ring. <laughs> I want to talk about this. This one. So I, I finished the castle. Which is the first, like, did you talk to the dude uh, right outside the starting point by the first grace? Probably. He has, like, a white mask. Pro- yeah, probably, yeah. He was like, follow the grace, go to the castle. Yeah. Oh, I forgot there was grace. I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. I'm in the cat. Is that where the, all the goblins are? No. Okay, no. Grace is just, like, the bonfires of this game. Well, yeah. But then what's the yeah. follow the thing? Because they, they don't. you can hit a button and it'll tell you where to, like, something to go. You If you look at your map... There are graces that have like a gold path coming going out of it. Yeah. And it's like a it it's kind of like a follow this path to the next grace that will like is leading you towards a main story point. Uh okay. Yeah. Uh so the first one, there really like you you don't have to do it in this order, but like the recommended path if from the game is like the castle. Okay. That's Godric's castle. I did that. Nice. Uh and I'm now on to the Next area. Like, I could go anywhere, but I'm kind of... The way I do these games is, all right, I got the map piece for the whole first area. I'm going to go and explore this whole little map area. That's what I do. Then I'm going to do the castle, which is like the main story thing. Then I get the map piece for the area that it led me to, which I'm considering the second area. Mm -hmm. And now I'm exploring that whole area, and then I'll do whatever main thing is there, and then go to the next region. Yada, 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 yada. Anyway, there was a... Before you get into this castle, there's like a little shack like pretty much right outside the entrance yeah, and there radios there's, <laughs> there's, 
Uh, are those even still around? Will people understand that reference? Oh, that. Well, come people, on. people younger than us. Hey, only uh, 2010 babies remember <laughs> Radio Shack. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I remember Radio Shack. I remember it, but I don't remember the last time I've seen a Radio Shack. I remember the last. I remember one of the last times I was inside a Radio Shack. I don't. <laughs> it was definitely a few years ago. And Only I bought, a few years? Yeah, and I bought a uh, Bluetooth wireless headphones that when you took the 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 ear ear cups and flipped them inside out, it turned into a Bluetooth speaker. What? Yeah. No, I like I'm not following. Take these like so you put that like see how I'm wearing my headset? Yeah. You know how like this like the ear thing flips? Okay. And this flips 180 degrees around and when they're both out like that, it becomes a speaker and they just start like playing louder and like it's a speaker. <sighs> What if you accidentally had a set to speaker and it was it, in no? It, it it's automatic. Like, what if it malfunctioned? I, well, I mean, I like loud music, so keep no, that'll be too loud. No, it's never too loud for right in your ear. Oh, fuck my ears! <laughs> I keep buying new earbuds because they're not loud enough. We got distracted again. Eh, it's a Wednesday. It's a Wednesday. <laughs> uh, well, not for the people. For the people, it's a Thursday. Sometimes it's a Thursday for us. So, uh, rarely, only twice. We're averaging once per season. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> People must be so lost right now. You guys should see the video. <laughs> <laughs> what? What video? The video that we're not taking. <laughs> uh, anyway, this, uh, this episode's uh, gonna get one listen. It, it, <laughs> <laughs> it's just gonna be one of us. Yeah. And the other it's ones just, be like, I'm not fucking listening to that. No one's gonna listen. There's too much bullshit going on in this episode. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> this is just, you know what? In all honesty, we really don't have a lot to talk about this week. No, we don't. Just, just have fun with our personalities and banter, yeah. please. Yeah, <laughs> please. Uh, there was this lady in a shack outside the castle. Uh, her name is Rodrika, and her whole thing apparently she was. So this is where like the quest design. That's what I'm going to talk about here. The side quests are done in a cool way. Mm-hmm. So there is no like it, this has been well documented, but there's no like quest log in the game so like i got a quest from her i can't just like open up a menu and see my quests right uh i know like jason schreier and a lot of people out there were saying like have a notebook ready yeah follow the, at least the way i've been doing it so far uh there's not nearly enough of the quest for me to feel like i don't know what to do mm-hmm. when i find something does that make sense yeah like i'm not having a hard time keeping track of it in my head okay because there's only there's not like there's quests everywhere uh, anyway, Rodrika, she was in the shack. She was like, yeah, I came here on a boat with all my companions and they all turned to crystallids in the castle. Uh, I'm pretty sure they were using the word crystallids. I might technically be wrong, but that's what I'm going to go with here. Crawdad. No, they were definitely not turning into crawdads. <laughs> uh, and she was talking about like, yeah, they all became crystallids. I, I might have to join them, but the idea of having all my limbs and then my head cut off one by one. It, it's scary, but I feel like I have to join them because they all became here for me and I'm the only one left. So now I'm thinking, is there some sort of spider boss in the castle? And it's like cutting them up and like turning them to crystal is not exactly. I'm now in the castle, right? Mm-hmm. Just exploring. And I kind of, this one had forgotten. So I got this quest a while ago and then I come across this, uh, Oh, and she said, oh, if you see them, can you tell them? Can you, like, pass along a message for me? Just basically saying, like, you know. To the torsos? I Well, that's why I was even more like, what's happening here? <laughs> Please tell all the remaining torsos <laughs> my final message. So I'm going through the castle. There's this real fucked up looking enemy in this room. It has, like, multiple legs and it's, like, carrying something. But it's, like, very grotesque. Okay. Uh, it, it's, like, one of those. There's, there's a common theme in this game of. Torso. Of torsos everywhere, uh, and acid torsos being like animal like, yeah, or or like grotesque looking, and then just kind of having like a human face on it. Okay, so that was like this, mm-hmm. and I was like, this thing is fucked up, and I want to fight it. <laughs> I thought it was a boss. This is again one of those enemies that maybe should have been a boss. It might as well have been. I got it was like the same type of fight, but it technically wasn't. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I'm exploring all around it first because there's a lot of ways to explore, and you find just. A pile of corpses, like literally a pile with like some hanging bodies above, and you get an item from it. It was like right next to this room. It was like outside, and it was something like crystallid 
something. And I was like, okay. And then in my head, I'm like, because she was like, I'm just waiting to get the courage to go join them. And in my head, I'm like, do I, I should probably kill this thing. Then. Mm-hmm. Uh, so like I said, it was like a <laughs> boss fight. Um, and like, I don't know in my head. I'm like, if I didn't kill this thing, she was going to go join them. Mm-hmm. I don't know if that's what happens. Uh, Cause this is, it's not a boss technically, but it does not respawn when you rest out of grace, like most regular enemies. Right. So I then went back to her and brought her the chrysalid thing. And then she was like, Oh, they, t- it was like something of hers. And she was like, took it as like, they still care about me. And now she's just a character back at the, Oh, I, I, you don't know about the round table hole, do you? King Arthur? You you get like a, uh, you unlock a hub area, if you will. Okay. Um, And it's just straight up like, it's a round table. And there's like different knights and like other tarnish there. Like NPCs for you to talk with. And there's a crazy blacksmith there. And there's a lot of lore going. There's a, there's a woman who's sitting on a bed. And she's like, can I hold you? And you have the choice and you get she's like sitting on the edge of the bed and you get down on your knees and like rest your head on her chest. And she just kind of slowly wraps her arms around you. And then you sit there for quite a while, basically till you move again. And it gives you like a buff and you can keep going back and doing it. But if you still have the buff, she's like, you still have the thing, but I can hold you again. What the fuck? And this is something it was a sleep. Something was her her like title where she would do this for, like, lords and shit, and she would, like, take their energy or use their energy and, like, give them life, longer lives or something. I don't know. Weird shit, but... Are people, like, like running out of ideas for sci-fi and, and like, shit? <laughs> like... It was <clears throat> very interesting. But now, Rodrika's just there at the round table, and that seems to be kind of opening up a new sort of quest line. I think I might have messed something up. Because, all right... There's a, I know I'm going into a lot of lore here. The blacksmith is a prisoner. He's like chained to the wall there. And he's like, yep, don't feel sorry for me. It's my own doing, but here I am. Lay down your arms. And he's like a weird creature looking thing. Uh, and she, Rodrika's saying she thinks she has some sort of ability because the blacksmith saw someone there who had her exact eyes and she could do this thing. And then I asked the blacksmith to watch over her and he's like, me? Why me? And I was like, it's what she wants. And he was like, oh, I trust you. Turns out she never said that she wanted that and then I realized that afterwards. So I hope I didn't fuck that up. Mm. Anyway, I know I'm rambling all over. <laughs> that, but like, that quest design is very cool. Whereas like, nothing, I was not explicitly told to do anything. Mm-hmm. I more just like I talked to her and then while I was in the castle those I saw these things and was able to piece everything together. There was no explicit like yeah, this is the creature. Yeah. There was no explicit like I got the item and it was like I should go take it back to her. It was like I found the item and I remembered my conversation with her. It was like, "Okay." And that's why I like was piecing everything together what was happening there. Mm. Um and I hope there's more of that because there is some other lore shit that I don't understand and I want to. Such as, I found fire monks, which are just people in this crazy red attire that shoots fire everywhere at you. Hmm. Uh, and now I'm wearing <clears throat> some of that attire. Also, I found a dungeon full of imps, and they seem to be made of stone, and they're really annoying. They hide behind walls. The dungeon really fucking sucked. Mm. Uh, and I ended up dying a lot there. Yeah. So I ended up killing a lot of the same imps. And I guess it's a rare drop because I got an imp head. Uh, and it has pretty good stats. It's like a, I, I wear it on my head. Mm-hmm. And it has pretty good stats but pretty low weight. And I only got one drop of out of all the imps I killed in that dungeon, which were a decent amount at the end of the day. So I'm wearing that in my fire robe, my fire monk robe now. And I look like insane. Mm-hmm. And I just I have the head cannon in my head of like when enemies are approaching me and then like I have my two swords out and look this way that of course they're not scared of me. No, but But in my cuz they just come running at me and attack me. But in my head I'm like, yeah, look at me. You're they in, don't want to fuck with me. You're just instilling right now. There's also these dudes with four arms 
and each two of the arms have bows and if you start like getting into a fight with them they'll do this attack where they basically with the four arms and like the constant reloading they're using these two bows like an automatic weapon that's cool it was pretty like i i, I posted a little clip of that uh, on our social medias mm-hmm. uh and it's just funny because like i i obviously beat them like they don't hit me in the video, but you can just see like multiple arrows standing out of my bag. I do, I do remember seeing that video. There was a a big battle between just regular knights and like their undead slave people, and then just like s- seemingly ghosts. Mm-hmm. Like they were all like translucent and light blue and see through. So I jump into the battle, of course, because I want to kill all of them. And then a giant, like there are j- enemies like giants. Then a ghost giant appears, and this giant can do magic and is shooting ghost swords at me. And it's like, I want, like, what was that? Mm-hmm. I wonder what that was about. I don't know if there's any explicit answer for that, but I'm hoping I learn. I don't know. I know nothing. Oh, I thought you would have the answers. I am not good at these games, and I barely play them. <sighs> well, I'm I'm chugging away. I feel good because I... I feel like I might be over leveled and maybe not over leveled, but like I'm doing a lot mm-hmm. <laughs> before like the main stuff. And like Godric was the final boss of Godric's castle. Surprise, surprise. And like he was difficult, but it didn't feel like I did the thing where I went in and my first instinct for the first few fights was I'm panicking and constantly dodging. And then he just hits me and kills me. Right. But then it was, like, the thing where I was like, all right, I just have to learn his move patterns. But, like, I didn't feel – I didn't feel outmatched, you know? Mm -hmm. I didn't feel like I was not ready for that. So, like, I'm I'm chugging along. Okay. I'm I'm doing bosses and, like, not too many tries. Not to brag, but, you know. I mean, anyone who's able to do anything in these games sound like they're bragging to me because it's fucking hard. In that imp dungeon, I killed the boss there in one try. The boss was way easier than the dungeon itself. Yeah. I, the dungeon was insane. I jumped into a hole, remember? You did <laughs> You did jump into a hole. Yeah. You jumped right into a hole. It, it was a, that was a bad hole. It was hole. not a good hole. <laughs> no one told me that. <laughs> did you? Do you read the player messages? They're very helpful. Yeah, and you know what happened last time I wrote a player message? It said, watch around corner. Which I knew there, I already knew there was something around the corner because I've been through there. But while I was reading it, it came around the corner and hit me. So I'm like, <laughs> cool. <laughs> they can be very helpful. I mean, my favorite ones are the ones that they're say They're definitely try helpful night. the second time. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> there's a lot of them say try night. And that's great because some bosses only spawn at night. Hmm. I've come across three. Two of them were the same boss in two different spots. It's a lot easier the second time around because I knew what I was doing. That's the death stranding element of it. The other one was Death Bird. You remember Death Bird? Oh, I remember Death Bird. I remember Death Bird. Anyway, that's all. That, I don't really have anything else to talk about. I, I I went to specifics because I don't know how else to talk about this game without going into shit like that. Yeah. Otherwise, it's just like, yeah, I'm still playing it. I mean, wait, with, with, with how the week's been and how much time we've actually been able to play, what else are you going to do? Yeah. And the time I did have to play, I wanted to play Elden Ring. I mean, I, I will. <laughs> I know for a fact this upcoming week I will got I got something new to play that you don't even know I'm gonna play. Holy and shit! And you're gonna be like, "Oh, great! Here we go. Let's let him talk about this." Probably. No, you're gonna be. I know for a fact you will. Cool. Yeah. So look I forward look to that next forward. week. <laughs> all right. Well, I uh, played more Shadow Warrior because that's all that I've been able to play. And uh, I'm still really enjoying it, but there are things that are starting to piss me off. And now in my notes, I wrote frustrate me. So, Um, oh, so I'm paraphrasing here. Oh, good. That's really good information. So at first (laughs) off, there's like so you have the arenas, which think about like Doom Eternal. You just Mm -hmm. go from place to place. It's just arena, arena, arena. And. Like it, 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 I know. I know. If you compare the two games, like obviously, Doom Eternal is like the much better version, and it's like we know that. But it's like it's so similar that I can't help but make these connections. Some of the arenas are just like 
small and frustrating and the the way the controls work there's they're not as tight as something like doom eternal so like i'll fall off the arena a lot or this will happen or that'll happen and and things will move around in the in the way the speed works for the game it feels like there there is almost too much to keep track of and to move around and then constant constant enemies that feel like they really don't stop god mm-hmm. forbid you die because there's no there's like no checkpoints in this game unless you actually yeah. finish it to the point where i moved it to easy because i was just like i have too much to get through i just i can't be doing this and it's just they don't stop they're they're overpowering and it's just the the it's like i i, I loved it so much in the beginning and now i'm starting to like pick it apart and i and i hate that um now Speaking on the checkpoint system, I'm really fucking mad because for whatever bullshit spoiler, there's this one section where there's two sections in the game so far where you're like stuck on like a moving platform and there's nothing really you can do. Mm -hmm. The second time, it's much more parkour based. So you have to jump off. You have to wall run. You have to shoot some things that are in the way. Which also comparing it to Doom Eternal, Doom Eternal was a lot more platformy than 2016 Doom. Yeah. And I kind of didn't love that. I liked that. Okay. This has some of that platforming stuff, but it doesn't, it's, it's, I, I like, I don't know what the word is. It's muddier. It's not tight. It doesn't like, it's not smooth. It's not so, weighty. It fl- yeah. I was gonna say floaty. Like it. Yeah. It's kind of like jumpy. It like, it, it's, it's, it feels loose in a okay. bad way. Yeah. I know. I, 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 I think I get what you're saying, but I'm playing through this section and if you touch the ground or like get all, or like get hit, you have to start that section from the beginning again. And so I'm watching the end of the arena that I just fought that just so happens that when I finished that arena, I was using one of like the super gore weapons from the elites. And when that is like done and the cooldown's over, you have to watch the animation of putting that item away and then bringing your gun out. Okay. So every single time I die, I'm brought back to the beginning. I'm putting away the gore weapon that I just finished using in the arena, pulling out my other weapon before I can go and like shoot the thing in the way and then hop on the thing again. So it's like to die to yeah. then rewatch me put this gore weapon it's away. It's just enough of an extra thing that it's it's infuriating. But here's the issue. At the last section of this plat- platforming area you have to wall run and then use your grapple to swing use your grapple again to hook to the other wall and wall run and then jump off landing on the platform for some fucking reason this platform is moving at the speed of light (laughs) and although it has a grapple point in the center of it it is going so goddamn fast that the grapple cannot keep up and i end up hitting the ground anyway seven times eight times nine times and that's when i was like i'm gonna smash this fucking controller (laughs) and i just i slowly put it on the ground i waited a minute or two i think i might have tried it one more time and then i got really mad and then i put an elden ring yeah what and that was such a good idea (sighs) i'm already raging at one game let's just go right what the fuck was i thinking (laughs) and on top of it this game is like apparently really short. I love pulling up like not like walkthroughs for games, but I pull up the entire full gameplay and I'll skip around. So it's like, oh, I'm at this section. I'll skip around in the video to around where I am and I'll roughly judge. All right. I have this much time left in the game before I beat it. I'm not like trying to figure out what to do next. I just mm-hmm. like knowing how much is left for me. And at the point that I was at in in this video, which was only four hours long it's not very long now this game can roughly take between six to ten hours but the fact that this video was four hours long and at that point where i was at was about just before the three hour mark of the video i'm like there really isn't that much left i've taken down like kind of one big boss so far that ancient cock were the first two longer uh absolutely interesting and but they also played differently like it's okay. weird because it feels like they put a lot of time into the uh like different types of enemies and what they do for the arenas but 
My last point being, I don't know if the issues that are there and the way that the game is going will hold me to any replayability with it because that's mm. what the draw is. Right. But at this point, like, I love the characters. They're a lot of fun, but I'm getting way too mad at the thing that's supposed to be the most replayable part. Right. And these stupid sections that are just like, fuck you. Why? Yeah. Like, why go through that again just to. Yeah. Like, I, I'm like, I know you would want to see like that humor again, or, like the characters, but at what cost? I'm going to keep trying and like maybe do a few more tries and like try to use some of that other like boost abilities. But I just don't fucking get why it's going so fucking fast <laughs> it like literally i'm alone in the apartment and i feel bad because i have upstairs neighbors and i'm literally sitting there like what the fuck am i doing wrong why i just fucking do it like i don't god damn get it and then i play Elden Ring. And then, and then you play Elden Ring and jump in a hole <sighs> it's been a good week it's good. of gaming <laughs> that's what we played yeah. <laughs> well, don't worry. There was a lot of news this week. Yeah. Uh, there was a PlayStation State of Play. Yeah. Uh, the, a lot of reports were saying Hogwarts Legacy was going to be the main staple. Fucking high liars. High for well, hopefully that does that all those reports because maybe maybe we'll get something else this, like this week or next week. Yeah, Nintendo Direct <laughs> <laughs> announcing Hogwarts Legacy for the State of Play. <laughs> Uh, for next month's state of play. Yeah. All right. Uh, I got the list here of everything that was shown. So let's blast through this because it wasn't really like a lot of announcements. No. Uh, it started out with this game called Exo Primal, which seemed to be like. All right. It, when I say mechs, that mechs you think of like big r things you get into, right? Like big robot things. Yeah. They were they were more like, it is is it exosuit. It was kind of it was kind of more like an anthem suit, so like not a mech. It was more like person sized. Yeah, so just Iron Man. Yeah, it was Iron Man. Yeah, but they're they're all different. There seems to be different Iron Man. Yeah. Uh, you you you're Iron Man, and you're fighting against dinosaurs in a city, like a modern day city. Chicago. But there's just dinosaurs. There's straight up like a T Rex, like a fucking. Uh, Triceratops. That's the the one with three horns, right? Well, try, try, yeah. I, that's why I said Triceratops is what made me think of it. I'm there just not go. sure. Triceratops sounds like a flying thing for whatever reason. Probably a tops. Probably. If I had to guess. Uh, airplane tops. Airplane. <laughs> that's why they're called that. Yeah, bird tops. Bird <laughs> <laughs> um, that's coming in 2023. Ooh. Then we got a Ghostwire Tokyo trailer. We did this the story trailer, right? Yeah. Um, it didn't really show too much new though, from what I saw. Mm -hmm. I did kind of like skip through it a little bit because we we couldn't really watch it live all that well. Um, but it's yeah, like they re they reuse some of like the same shit from other trailers that we've seen already. Yeah. Some new stuff like there's a little bit of new gameplay I think, but game looks cool. I'm excited for it. It's not far away. I know. Fucking stupid fucking games releasing on the same fucking day. Yeah, that that's like the worst. Like it's the best, but also the worst. Like simultaneous game release day that I can remember for a long time. Yup. Uh, they showed a real quick Stranger of Paradise Final Fantasy Origin trailer, but really it was just to say that there's a new demo and it's out now. And it reminded me that that game's out in like a week. Yeah, is this demo gonna be better than the last one? I, you would hope so. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe people can play this one and it'll work. Um, Then we got Forspoken trailer, which showed one of the things you can do when you're over water in this open world, you can use like a spirit surfboard thing mm. and, and fly around. You know how I feel about that type of shit. Oh, you know what that reminds me of? We're getting a live action static shock. Static shock. What's static shock? Um, he, so he's in the DC universe. They had an animated show. He got like electric powers and he, he had like the little like floaty disc that he flew around on Virgil. This sounds, I feel like I've seen this static shock. So fucking I feel like cool. I've seen a static shock picture. You know what? I might just go on Redbubble and buy a static shock shirt. Say that six times 
I might just go on Redbubble and buy a static so- shit. Oh, gotcha. Shit. You fucking <laughs> you you fell into my trap card. Yeah, I, well, I didn't fall into a card. It was called it was the pitfall card. I did fall into a pitfall. Uh where were we? Oh yeah, Forspoken. Uh and also I guess we'll just say it now, that game got delayed. Womp womp. Uh, October 11th. Yep, from May 25th to October 11th. The typical, like, they want to work on, they would need more time to work on the game. And great, hopefully. Am I the only one? Am I the only one who's like, whenever they, like, devs say that, it's like, all right, just shut the fuck up and do it. Like, you know, like, like. Yeah, but they, they, I mean, like, they have to say it. I know they have to say it, and it's like nothing against them, but it's like, it's like, I don't know, give us something cool every once in a while. Like, Like, it's like, (laughs) hey, we're, like, I don't know, like, the, Hey, the, the legs aren't working. Isn't that fucking weird? I guess we're going to take a few more months now. I, okay, I see. Would you like to be a little more like I less don't know. business-like and more and like... It's like it's, it's, it doesn't even feel businessy because they, they're so like nonchalant about it. But it's the same spiel. It, it's it, not it up to the quality of our standards. Yeah. And for us to really get out the product that, really, that we envision and we really want to make, it's going to take a few... Like, yeah. They've been yeah. saying that since like 1984. I don't know about that. I don't know. Is that like the George Orwell thing? Huh? I don't know. I don't know. I can't fucking do this. I wasn't shit alive. Anymore. Neither was I. Nice. Well, uh, those are the good old days. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Gundam Evolution was next. This a Gundam six v six arena shooter thing. Yeah, I don't know. Network test is coming spring twenty twenty two. There you go. Uh, then they announced the TMNT, uh, TMNT, the Cowabunga collection seems to be a bunch of those retro Ninja Turtle games Ooh. in a collection coming this year. You should get a slice of pizza with it, but it's moldy. Oh, why? No. I mean, it doesn't come mold. Well, it comes moldy, but well, like, well, you don't, well, like, unless you like, you buy it day one. If it sits on the shelf, yeah, it's going to get moldy. Maybe. They just got to vacuum seal it better. I don't know if that'll help. I'm going into a Best Buy and just looking at (laughs) moldy (laughs) slices of pizza and like, which one do I feel like buying today? Oh, you buy multiple? No, no, no. Which one would you get? Because it's like, you you know, you go into a GameStop. It's like, what what game? Like, what? I'm going to buy a game. It's like, oh, what? But it says just a selection of moldy pizzas. Well, the the moldy pizza comes with the game, but you, okay. you're All not you're right. picking right. one specific right. game, and that one specific game it comes with that one specific moldy slice of pizza. So you ask yourself, which moldy slice of pizza is going in my pocket today? Oh, why are you putting it in your pocket? Uh, are you shoplifting? My hands are full. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Gigabash was next. This is like a top. What you know, like those. I don't, there must be a, a name for these, but you know the top like, games, the top games, <laughs> uh, you know, the kind of top down, they're like fighting games, like kind of fighting brawler things, but they're more top down. There's been a couple of these hotline Miami. No, you see? No, so what no, 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 not that it's top down, not, but it's like still 3d and it's. You're fighting. You're brawling. Top down or isometric? I, okay. Yes. Isometric. That's better. Not top down. I'm wrong. Well, I mean, it was just clear. Okay. All right. I'm wrong. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. It's that. <clears throat> I don't know. If you looked at the trailer, you'd be like, okay, I get it. I get what you mean. I understand. Move it on. Yeah. Move along. Now, we're, we're, we're moving along to JoJo's Bizarre Adventure All-Star Battle R. It's a fighting game of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. I don't know it. You knew it. Yeah, it's like, I don't know. If you're... It, see, this is... I don't get you. You spend, like, a lot of time on the internet, but it's yeah. like, you're so sheltered. You're I, so I spend a lot sheltered. of time on the internet within the things that I already enjoy. I don't know. Maybe it's just, I like, I need all the information in the world. It's just, it's all right there, you know? I... Sometimes you just want a little bit of everything. All of the time. You know what I think it is? I see something that I don't really know. And if there's not something that is like, oh, I think this looks cool. If I just see him, it's like, okay, whatever. Move on. So you're the type of person to see something and not say something. Oh, whoa. This is a little dim now. (laughs) (laughs) That's an accusation right there. (laughs) Uh, 
trick to Yomi to talk about seeing something and then saying something about it. <sighs> uh, nice transition. This, yeah, I know. Uh, this game looks fucking cool. Yeah, I mean, after Ghost of Tsushima, just give me more cool shit like that. So this seems like it's it's like a 2D or 2.5D, whatever you want to call it. Kurosawa, right? Yeah, but it's based on this trailer. It seems to be more cinematic than I thought. Oh yeah, that's. Like, I mean, that's 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 Kurosawa. And but I mean, like straight up, like cutscenes, like th- all 3D cutscenes. Like, that's what was happening in the trailer, at least. Yeah. Like, people talking to each other. So I'm like, I'm down with that. But, yes, it looks very cool. It does. Um, Returnal Ascension Update 3.0. Seems to be a Returnal DLC coming on March 22nd. I don't know. I didn't play Returnal. No, and I won't. I don't think I will either, especially at this point. Oh, yeah, no. Uh, Then they announced the Diofield Chronicle. It's a Square Enix game that seemed to be kind of like a tactical Fire Emblem type thing, but maybe a little more like active than I don't, I don't really know. Mm-hmm. I, it's not in my wheelhouse, so I don't know the best way to describe it, but it's kind of like that. Uh, that's coming this year. Okay. And then we got another Square Enix game. Square. Valkyrie Elysium. It does, seems like does a, anyone else hear any of these titles and think this? there's no way this is going to become a flagship it, like series? <laughs> like, I hear these titles and I'm like, no way down the line am I going to get, what, v- Varkarian De- Decimation yeah. 9? Like, uh-huh. uh, I don't even know what the fuck you just said anymore. So, it if to just to further prove your point, it was like a third-person fantasy action game and it looks exactly what you're thinking. Like, nothing stood out about it to me. Yep. Uh, that is also coming 2022. That was the state of play. Honestly, kind of. Where was Hogwarts, you cowards? Yeah. There was, I thought like Exo Primal looks, looked cool. It was in, a, it was in a city during daytime and you know oh how I feel Oh my that. God. <laughs> Talk about a callback. Yeah. <laughs> you know how I feel about that. Gotta love those fucking daytime cities. I think, and like. They show trailers for other games we already knew about that I'm excited for, and otherwise, like nothing else did it for me here. Yeah, where the where the fuck is that um the the little devil? Where the fuck was that? Which one was the little? Was that the? Uh... That's the cool one with the dude who keeps shitting on the toilet. Oh yeah, then they showed another trailer, and it seemed to be like way cooler than I thought. Yeah, and it was like, what the fuck? It where's yeah. that? Like where the fuck was that? I don't know. I do. I want to see more of that. Yeah, I want that game. Yeah. 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 Now it's time for regular news. Regular old boring news. Except, well, there's actually a decent amount of news this week. Uh, well, we already talked about how Forspoken has been delayed to October 11th. Uh, let's talk about how uh, Dolmen has a release date of May 20th and Gotham Knights got a release date of October 25th. I didn't know Dolmen got a release date. Yeah, I don't care. Uh, House of Dead Remake also got a release date. What? <laughs> April 7th, Whoa. coming to the Switch. Yeah, and what? The Pillars of Eternity is not coming to Switch anymore, so boo I didn't see that. Yeah, or whatever whatever that game that people like is. There were a couple other delays. What? The Settlers. Oh, yeah. That is Ubisoft's thing. You know, whenever whenever we talk about certain news, I really take that and whatever we find interesting part of our uh, <laughs> like bio to heart. Because it's like, I could not give a fuck about Settlers. I couldn't either. I never even heard of it. I thought the interesting part was that the game was supposed to come out in two weeks. Yeah, March, se- May 17th. And then we're like... No, nope, March. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. you said May. Uh, yeah, and then I fixed it. No, you went from March to May. Oh, shit. Yeah, you, you had it and then you went wrong. Damn it. <laughs> Fucking cut off my pinky. But <laughs> <laughs> you need to be punished. <laughs> um. Apparently, they had a closed beta, and no one liked it. <laughs> oh, no. It's a modern-day Ubisoft game. Uh-huh. So, they delayed it indefinitely. And uh, Advance Wars 1 Plus 2 Reboot Camp got delayed. Yeah, it did. No new release date just said due to recent world events, as in Russia sucks. Yeah, speaking of yeah. which, Microsoft and EA are like, fuck you. Yeah, there's a lot of places that are like, fuck you to Russia. Well, I mean, when you kind of start World War Three. <laughs> Well, you just start invading a country, and you then, know. And then you talk to the other leader, and then you start blowing up shit again. I think it's kind of bad. Yeah, it's not It's not a good look. No. 
You know that they, they uh, not to get too political here. That's not our thing. They just like kind of turned off the global internet for Russians. As in, like, if you're in Russia, you can't just go on the internet and see normal internet. You just see what's in Russia. I mean, they got vodka. They got they. <laughs> not as much as they used to. A lot of them left there. Yeah, they'll find some. Stoli and Smirnov are not Russian people. Look, man, they're not. You don't got to bring work into this. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I do. <laughs> um, there's a uh, free to pray, mm-hmm. free to play. It's always free to pray. <laughs> <laughs> He's always listening. <laughs> uh, there's a free to play. I wanted Ghost you to do Liar it again. Tokyo prequel. That's where I went wrong. <laughs> free to play prequel. Gotcha. Pray. Wait, so what? We're we're getting a we can play it? Yeah, it's a um visual novel prequel and it's just out now. Oh, I don't give a shit. Uh it takes place 6 months before the game and you play as KK, who is the voice inside the main character's head uh before the world went to shit and you're just like a normal human detective and you're investigating shit cuz like I don't know, paranormal shit started happening. You're like, "Well, I got to investigate whatever the hell's going on here." Uh, I think I'm gonna check this out. I'm interested. I would, I would like, to, you know, a little lore going into it. Uh, yeah, you, yeah. you seem to care a lot. I just, I'm there for the gameplay. I don't want to play a fucking visual novel. I am a visual novel. No. You're. Do a, you see me? You're a biped. Do you see me? Do you visually see me? Well, it, what? How? How the fuck are you gonna tell me you're a novel right now? I am just a living story. And that's all life is. We're all just visual novels <laughs> telling our stories. That's it. That's well, all. Well, when are. a mommy visual novel and a daddy <laughs> visual novel like each other very much. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yep. What do you What do you got over there? I don't even fucking know anymore. Well, um, that's why you gotta look. All right. Well. Here's some good news. Just like every other fucking series and everything out there, uh, God of War is apparently in the the finalization process of getting its own TV show with Amazon. Yeah. Did you see whose names were tied to this? No. Uh, apparently, people Christopher Judge looking to get involved were the Expanse creators. Oh. Which is okay, but then also the Wheel of Time producer is uh, looking well, to join. Uh, that show sucks. Oh, I tried it. Yeah. I love that first Wheel of Time book. Second and third books were okay. I never got past them. Uh, the show is bad. It's it, not good. There's too many things to, like, lore to keep up. It's like you got to pick, like, a few different, like, big ones, and, like, that's it. Kind of, yeah. It's like, oh, uh, it's like you got Harry Potter, Star Wars, Lord of the Rings, Wheel of Time. Fuck Wheel of Time is definitely not in that realm. Yeah. Well, no. maybe book-wise it is. No. Not show wise. It has one season. It's There's, bad. I'm reading a, a court of it's Thorns and Roses, and it's got fucking in it, and they're going to turn that nice. into a show. And, and, it, it's, is it going to be on HBO? Uh, I don't know. There's like, I, I was, I was told that there, I mean, there's not nearly as much fucking as I thought there would be. You, you wanted more? Well, I'm in book two now, and there's supposed to be a lot more fucking. I'm just saying, like, it was, I was told, and I, there's, anyway. The, re- the characters are great, though. And they fuck. And if it's going to be a show on HBO, you're going to see that fucking. You're going to see a lot of boobs and peepees. Yeah, I think it's coming to Hulu. Mm, maybe less boobs and peepees, then. I'm still interested. Uh, let's, let's, let's just get through this uh, Activision Blizzard shit. Because there's three news stories. I'm going to blast through them here. None of them are good. Uh, Activision Blizzard just sucks. Yeah. They just suck. So let's start with uh, their whole board of, direct- board of directors issue. Uh, they violated uh, California law because, according to California law, they're supposed to have at least three women on the board of directors. Not just that. It's, like, it's, a, it's, a, it's a law. Uh, they have 10, board, uh, 10 directors or 10 people on the board of directors. They, they couldn't get three. 
Uh, they said they failed to do so because of complications with the Microsoft acquisition, uh, which won't finalize for until 2023. They had three years to do this. Three years to just get th- three women on the board of directors. Nope, they via they failed to do that. They couldn't find three scummy women to fuck they, over the company <laughs> in that they, time. They failed to do so and said it's because of the Microsoft acquisition, as if they didn't have a whole three years. They had until the end of 2021. When did the Microsoft acquisition start happening or get announced? What, months ago? Yeah, so like the end of 2021? Yeah. Hmm. Interesting place to blame that. Uh, speaking of that acquisition, uh, they're being investigated. They have three investors being investigated for insider trading. Apparently, these three investors put around $108 million into Activision Blizzard just a few days before the acquisition was announced. Mm. One of them is apparently longtime close friend with Bobby Fuckface Kodak. Ooh, what else is new? So they're being investigated. They're, of course, denying it, but yeah. Uh, and then the worst of all, uh, yeah. Activision Blizzard is getting sued by the family of Kerry Monahan. Uh, Moynihan? Mo- maybe. Mo- Mo- oh, yeah, it's YM, Moynihan. Yeah, I think it's Moynihan. Uh, I don't remember this story. We talked about it a little bit. There was a lot of when the uh, Activision Blizzard uh, allegations started coming out. Mm-hmm. But a lot of the sexual harassment, the frat boy culture, if you will, the whole Bill Cosby room bullshit. A uh, lot of bad things from Activision Blizzard. Well, uh, Kerry Moynihan uh, committed suicide in Activision Blizzard company retreat in 2017. She was 32 years old. The family is suing Activision Blizzard because, well, there was a lot of sexual harassment there at the time, as we all know. And apparently they say it played a major factor in her death, including the fact that multiple um, explicit photos were passed around at a holiday party between employees. Fucked up. Fucked up stuff. Uh, I, so I don't fucking understand how yep. there's so many. How this? How how do you let so many disgusting fucking people in this company? And how do you just? How do you? How do you continue to let this shit happen? This was the one where. Do you remember when like the, all these allegations were coming out? And, uh, a lot of the lawsuits or there was the big lawsuit and like a lot of things involved with that. This was the one that they responded to. I don't have the exact quote, but basically saying that like stuff is that there it's grossly misinformed about this or like things are like blatantly false. Not if people are said, fucking killing themselves. And they said they can't go into details out of respect for, for out of the respect. family. Oh no, you Which, just like, keep no, your fucking pockets full. Yeah, that's not, that's not why you're keeping quiet about it. You should be fucking dead. Um, so yeah, Activision Blizzard really, man, we thought EA was bad. Like, <laughs> and then in comes Activision Blizzard was like, you thought they were bad? We're going to really top that shit. I really fucking hate the gaming game. Yeah, space. it's, yep. Uh, do you want to, do you want me to continue on with, uh, something bad, but to a less scale, but still sucks? There's no fucking way to transition no. into that shit. Uh, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet may not be what it appears. So they're, they're, they put us on a fucking roller coaster with these Pokemon games. Yeah. Arceus comes out. We're fucking, we love it. We love it. We're like, we want, imagine this in modern day. This is what Pokemon is moving forward. <clears throat> we get uh, an announcement for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. We're like, they're doing it. It's coming later this year. Uh, some people seem to be noticing on their website, there was a quote um, that says, this is it word for word you'll be able to you'll be able to experience the true joy of the pokemon series battling against wild pokemon in order to catch them now in an open world game that players of any age can enjoy people it seems it seems like a pretty safe assumption based on what has been shown and what is said that it is not going to be the same like you're in a bush just throw the pokemon and catch them mm-hmm. it's going to be instead throw out your pokemon get into a battle Weaken them and then catch them. Which I guess I get in a way because, like, the Pokedex in modern times is not going to be like the research tasks, so you don't need to catch a billion of them. Yeah. But at the same time, <clears throat> that's part of what made Arceus so fucking good. 
Yeah. Being able to do that. Huh. Do you have more news or should I should I blast through what we got left here? Um, if anyone's interested, uh, on March <clears throat> March 11th, there will be the next Dead Space live stream. That, that's funny. That was my next piece of news. Look at that. It was the last one that I put down that was interesting or that I kept up with news-wise. Um, but hopefully we'll get some more information then. I definitely been waiting for this Dead Space to come out. Did you see what they said about this? What the, what they're gonna show there? No. Uh, so they said like first look at the new graphics, gameplay, <clears throat> and the new peeling system, which Ooh. is gonna be a system where you can peel skin off of things to like see their bones and organs and shit. And I don't know what you do with them. I guess we'll find out. I knew they were changing some of the gameplay stuff and whatnot, but it's like, like. Like, it's like, it's weird. Cause it's like, this is one of those, like, we're, we're just like, it's a, it's like a, it's not a reboot, but it's like, it's almost like how arcane took prey from Bethesda and then like did it themselves. It's, but like with the, you took the bones of it and it's like, well, what if we did that? And it's like, what if we did this? Yeah. There, it seems like they're going to stick with like the same general story. Yeah. But they're changing a lot. Yeah. Which is, I'm like, cool. Sure. Yeah. I, I want to know I, what I it is. I guess let's Show peel me. some skin. I mean, I know some of those games have some fucked up shit and like, it's good. Yeah. I'm, I'm cool with some fucked up shit. Yeah. Speaking of which, I got to fucking play Martha's dead. Yeah. That's on my list of games. I want to play. Mm -hmm. I want to play it. I gotta get new shoes. Is that on, is that another game? No, it's just, I don't remind her. Did you get any shoes not long ago? Yeah, I'm wearing What is the them. white ones? Yeah, look. What? Yeah, what is know. it just because they're dirty? You can clean them. I just, I just, you know, I just, I just, you know. Do you want me to clean them for you, bud? No. You want to be a shoe cleaner? No. All There's right. more to life than that. There definitely is more to life than that. I saw an episode of Parks and Rec and they said that because Andy was being a shoe shiner. He goes, I mean, there's got to be more to life than that, isn't there? That's we must have seen the same one because we had it on at work, well, yeah, and he was shining the fuck shoes. I was talking about. Okay, I was there. Oh, you were? Yeah, so I was making a reference. That's a good show. Grand Theft Auto Five coming to next gen, current gen. It's not next gen. Not it's, anymore. It's current gen. Uh, people uh, are not the happiest necessarily because, well, all right. There's going to be no free upgrade path. If you want GTA 5, like, straight up the whole game, so, like, the campaign, the online, everything, for the first three months, it will be $9.99. After that, it will be $39.99. Uh, interestingly enough, if you just want the standalone online, you can get it for free the first three months, and then after that, $19.99. Hmm. It's weird. Yeah. But, I don't know. <clears throat> the first three months, $9.99, like... Okay, but after that, thirty nine ninety nine for the upgrade? Yeah. That's expensive. I mean, I don't think I would... I think I would only buy the online. Well, you might as well get it when the first three months was get it. It's free. Yeah. It'll be free. Which, also, I didn't look too deep into it, but that wording could also mean you can play the online free for three months and That's then you have to pay for like. it. That's what it sounds like. Like, here's your trial, and it's right. like, you like it? But I'm not entirely hey, well. sure, because the, the regular GTA Five they're doing the same thing, where it's like... All right, it costs nine ninety nine for the first three months, but any time after that will be thirty nine ninety nine. So I don't know. Hmm. We might find out. Probably not. Nah. Got one more piece of news. You see the Valve data mine? No. Is this going to any of their games that they say that they're working on? Yes. Uh, it seems that this shows four unannounced Valve games. Portal three. No. Team Fortress three. No. Half Life three. No. Uh, Left 4 Dead 3. No. 3, three. There was no 3. 33rd and 3rd. Um, what was that? There was that weird... Uh, what did it come out with? You the, the, the like... What? The... Steam Deck? It, it was... Yeah, it was, maybe it was with that. There was like a... People were like, there's technically a new Portal game out. Yeah, Portal or Aperture Desk. Yeah. Something. This... Someone data mined that. This this reporter. I didn't write down his name. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, but he like has a history of like reporting on Valve and being pretty right. And Mikey data Sticks. Mind. No, I think his name was Tyler or something. But Ta again, I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. I'm not, um, his name might not even be Tyler. <laughs> uh, so these were the four un unannounced games that they he seemed to find. One of them was called Citadel, 
Whoa. Based on what he could tell, it's a R- RTS slash FPS hybrid mm. that will have a single player campaign. Like, when I hear Valve making games, it's like, no, you don't. <laughs> well, they're making Citadel. There also seems to be a Source 2, which I assume is their new engine, yeah. a Source 2 port of Counter Strike Global Offensive. Uh, what was described as a follow-up to Half-Life Alex, and a recreation of a canceled Portal game. Hmm. So I guess they had a Portal game, they canceled it a while ago, and now they're like, no, we're gonna we're gonna do that actually, but like starting from scratch. Good. Portal's great. Uh, so those are the four things. So I guess Valve is busy. Uh, did you? Ri- I didn't fill in notable game releases this week. I have a bad habit of doing this. Is there anything notable coming out this week? Yeah, we got a few things. Uh, starting March 10th, we got Assassin's Creed Dawn of Ragnarok expansion coming out for PC, PS4, PS5, Xbox Series X, and Xbox One. If anyone is actually keeping up with all this Assassin's Creed content, yeah, this. So this, yeah, I don't. I, I enjoyed mean, Valhalla. Yeah. I have no desire to play any of it again. Like, I really want to hop into the DLCs and, like, experience it, but it's just, like, I it's, I did put a lot of time into that base I, game. By the end of the game, I was pretty burnt out on it. Yeah. and It I was, put, like, too much. Yeah. I think I put over 100 hours, at, at, at least. You, If you were doing, like, everything, easily you could. Yeah. yeah. Um, Next up, coming March 11th, we got WWE 2K22. Releasing on PS4, PS5, Xbox Series X, and Xbox One. Maybe this one won't be shit. This is the game I'm going to play. This was the game. That was the game. Uh, that's the, poor buddy. That's the game. That's the game. That's the game I'm going to play. Well, it's I notable. thought it was out now. No, it releases March 11th for PS4, PS5, Xbox Series X, and Xbox One. Damn it. I wanted to play that tomorrow. That's what I plan on doing tomorrow on my day off. I don't know. Maybe they still do that thing where you pre-order it and you get it like a day early. Damn it. Damn it. Well, that's all right because March, March 15th, you can play GTA and GTA Online coming to PS5 and Xbox Series X. We know how much it's going to cost now. I just talked about that. Yeah, we did. Yeah. And finally, March 16th, everyone saddle up because Tunic strides in coming to PC, Xbox Series X, and Xbox One. Tunic. Yeah. I'm excited for it. But yeah. There's a lot going on. I put a lot of time into that demo. Yeah. I do I'm I'm looking forward to this. hmm I feel like it'll be another situation with Sable where I played a lot of the demo and it's like, ah oh, man, I just I mean I, I get don't that. want to do that again. It doesn't help that there's a billion games coming out right now. Yeah. Or that are out right now. I guess that's gonna do it. You know This today- is a strange episode. Today's episode, it's March 9th, episode 39. I'm just saying. Wow. Well, it didn't come out March 9th, though. The episode came out March 10th. It's March 9th for us. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying. I have been, I have been before we close the episode, I, I want to throw this in here because it's been taking up a decent portion of my week. Uh, I'm, I'm, I've talked about it a little bit. I'm a wrestling fan, <laughs> specifically AEW. Uh, newer company. Like in the grand scheme, it's only it's only a few years old, which in the grand scheme of things is pretty new. Uh, they just came out with their first series of like collectible sports cards, and I was like, I want to start a collection then. Uh, but that's impossible because they are in retail. They're at Target and Walmart, but because everyone's a fucking scalper nowadays with cards, uh, you can't find them anywhere. And I have been to Target and Walmart many times, mm-hmm. sometimes more than once a day to try and find these cards. And I haven't been able to. And it's really pissing me off because I don't want them so I can sell them on eBay for double the retail price. I want them so I can have a collection because I like AEW, mm-hmm. you know? And, and I hate it. I just want the cards. So... I'm basically forced to, it's supposed to be $25 for eight packs. Instead, on eBay, it seems to be averaging about $45. Yeah. That's, that's my banter. I'm, Get I'm good, trying. noob. Like, I knew, like, cards have been a crazy thing for a while now. I didn't think it would be like this, though. Dude, you're fighting humanity right there. I'm fighting the scalpers. And, like, I'm so reluctant. I keep going because... 
it's almost like a I'm in the mindset right now. I'm just like, fuck scalpers so much that I refuse to buy from them. Mm. Even though I know deep down is the only way I'm going to get boxes. You could be those but people keep... that sit outside Target until they open. No. And then you run and you're like. No. <laughs> and they're like, well, okay. No, I don't want to be that person. Especially because they're all scalpers. I'll fight them all. That's oh, that's what that's what they've been I'll, trained to do. I'll do so many wrestling moves on them. They um, they'll have no idea what's coming. They know more. I don't think so. I think I they, don't think so. You haven't even gotten a single card yet. I think they. know I'm more than getting you. some in the mail. Yeah, from someone who had way too many. I also got a box on eBay. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, but it was not the worst price. It was. It ended up. It only like, costed you a scalp. It would, yeah, that's why they call them scalpers. Yeah. Well, I don't know how else to get another one now. I'm out of scalp. Yeah, this, you got it. You got your one. All right, Dave. I'll see you next week. Well, I'll see you in a couple days. In a few days. But I'll see you next week. Uh, Captain signing to out. out.